go ahead and get the brake line loosely fitted here. There's a uh, there's a cap here that you'll see where the uh, brake line is in, is going to be installed. We have a banjo type fitting here. We have brass washers, which are always a, a one use. We're going to end up putting a compression on them, not a torque, however. The brake line is going to be installed up toward the uh, bleeder valve. We just want to do this so we can get to it, and uh, this will make life a lot easier for us. Let's go ahead and put one of the put the banjo uh, bolt through there, the washer on each side, and go ahead and just get that in and fitted where it's done and loose and put no compression on it. And then let's go ahead and install the, uh, the caliper. I'm going to take the caliper, put it over the rotor, go ahead and take one of our bolts, and these bolts have already been, uh, uh, have lock, thread locker applied to them, so we'll go ahead and put those on. Just going to get it hand tight at this point before we torque it in. And once we've got those down, and we'll go ahead and get our torque wrench. Again, we're using a 12 millimeter stud, like uh, many Brembo specifies the torque at uh, 80 foot pounds. I'm going to go ahead and put our torque wrench on. Go ahead again, hold it at the end of the wrench only. Once it clicks, we will have achieved 75, 80 foot pounds. And that's what we're looking for. And there we go. We've got our brake line installed, at least for right now. Our caliper installed. Things look like they're going to turn freely. Now that the caliper's installed, we're going, going to have refit the brake line, our, uh, our new uh, high-pressure stainless braided brake line. Let's go ahead and get our rag again and our cup because we're going to have to take this uh, bleeder cap off. And let's go ahead and pull that through. What I'm going to do is just get this hand tight at this point, put it up through the, up through the hole into the uh, into the flare nut. This fitting now on the bottom is a 15 millimeter rather than the 17 millimeter uh, from Mini. Go ahead and tighten this up. We've got that nice and snug. All right, so now we've got the brake lines installed. We're going to go back and tighten that banjo fitting. Uh, it should have a slight uh, slant toward the rear, toward the brake lines, not straight up and down, not perpendicular. 14 millimeter wrench, and we are just going to give it a little, little snug here. We don't want to tighten it too much. Again, just just to compress it, flatten that washers a little bit, and that is that. Go ahead and turn the caliper now. We've got the grommet that holds the brake line in place. And let's go ahead and pop that in. And we've got it. Okay, brain was shocking all. I am I'm amazed. This went together so well. And uh, that really looks like a quality job on the on the brake rotor. Uh, you had that on in no time. I got to tell you, I'm pretty used to getting beat by about a sixteenth of an inch. I'm surprised at how well this went. Well, I guess the only way to tell is let's go ahead and dry fit the wheels, even though we're not ready, and see what we've got. Yeah, well, why don't, why don't you bolt those on and see uh, see what they look like. Our tuner lugs, our new studs in there. So 
this looks great on our Brembo brakes. What does uh, what does clunk mean? Clunk and uh oh uh, can be used interchangeably here. I don't think that that's good. Uh -huh. I, I think that so we're striking our uh, our caliper here and here with the inside of uh, of these uh, wheel spokes. Yes, that that's what we're doing. Our our offset is definitely off by a, a, a few millimeters. Okay, so what are we going to do to uh, undo the uh, clunk? Well, we're going to have to space that out. We're going to have to get the measurement exactly and uh, space that out, well, again, a few millimeters with a plate that will basically mirror the inside of the rim, a couple of two and a half uh, inch center bore, no bigger than five inches wide, a four by 100 pattern, and that should get two of those, and we should be in good shape. Okay, so we just need a little round plate here with holes for the lug bolts and the, and the center bore and space it out. That'll cause this to clear. That'll do it. Okay. Okay, Brian, the, uh, when last we spoke, we had a little problem. Our uh, trick double throw me down quick disconnect wheels from um, ADR Designs were actually striking part of our Brembo caliper, and that would probably uh, either prevent us from driving or cause us to throw <laughs> our front wheels out into a grocery cart somewhere in a parking lot. You uh, had an idea that maybe we'd make a spacer and space that wheel uh, away from the... Uh, uh, rotor, how did that come out? Well, actually, it came out great. We uh, we got this wheel adapter, spacer, from uh, Design Deluxe Manufacturing in Canoga Park. Uh, it's five millimeters thick, and it's set up for our uh, four on 100 uh, bolt pattern. What'd that cost us? Uh, 100 bucks for two of them shipped. Hmm. And how long did it take to get it? It took about four days, long enough for the weather to change from spring to winter here in, uh, in Missouri. <laughs> okay, good. So um, how does this work? Well, we've got the... We've how, got thick, how thick an adapter is it? That's five millimeters. All right. So we just need a little offset. We knew we needed at least a couple, and okay. uh, we got five millimeters. So how do we install this thing? Well, we just take the adapter. It's already ready to go. It's got the... Uh, center bore spacing. It's also got the four on uh, 100 lug pattern. And we just place it over there and that's probably the most difficult part of the installation. That's uh, that's an installation I can live with. And then what, we just put the wheel over this and uh, torque it down. We're gonna bolt the wheel up just like we would normally. Let's throw it on there and see what happens. There, we'll just Take our tuner lug wrench, get that first one started up. Put in the next one. Yeah, there are eight choices in there. Four of them are always incorrect, it looks like. We'll get those snug and then we'll draw that wheel down evenly. Got our torque wrench already set at uh, 80 foot pounds. We're going to use a 13 16 a regular spark plug tool. Now, is this uh, 80 foot pounds or 105 on the wheel lugs? It's a it's 105 newton meters. Newton meters. Newton okay. meters. 80 foot pounds. Yeah, it's 80 foot pounds. All right. Let's just go ahead and get those kind of snugged up a little bit, but not torqued yet. using a standard cross pattern there to get those wheels tight. There's a click. There's 80 foot-pounds. Two. Three. And one more. And that is that. All right. Does our wheel spin? It does. We had our uh, off camera. We used our tongue, to, our uh, wheel depressor, our pedal depressor, to get the brake on, so we go ahead and torque it down while there's uh, no weight on the car. We'll yank that puppy off. Let's see if she'll, she'll turn. It seems 100% better. Now our wheel 
turns freely. We're clearing the uh, caliper, and um, we should be good to go. And the guys at uh, Design Deluxe Manufacturing, uh, Fred Goska out there in Canoga Park, uh, manufactured these for us. This is going to give us a nice, should give us a vibration-free steering. Okay, good. 